This is the second different quarterback who, if you just sort of line them up in a draft, would go well after Carson Wentz would go, who has just elevated this team. And Nick Foles elevated this team, and now in this six quarters or whatever it has been, uh, Jalen Hurts has done the same. What does that mean for Carson Wentz? Yeah, I think, first of all, the thing directly is there's something that we don't see going on with Doug Peterson yeah. and Carson Wentz. There is something. You know, the play calling was completely different. The feel of that game was completely different. That defense played inspired football. And so, you know, there's, there, it's, you don't go from one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL and one of the top guys in the world to doing what you do to all of a sudden not being able to do it unless it's up here. Like, there's something with, with his thought process and the disconnect between him and Doug Peterson. But I will say this, and I said this last week, the more Jalen Hurts plays and plays better and wins football games, the question of can we trade Carson Wentz becomes more realistic. I know the draft picks and the money. I get all that. It's the NFL. Nothing should surprise anybody. And then two, if people in that organization believe that the draft pick of, of Jalen Hurts affected Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts continues to play well, how do you have both of them on your team yeah. at the same time next year? I, I don't see how that's even remotely possible. So yesterday – was great for Jalen Hurts. It was incredibly concerning for me when it comes to Carson Wentz. Well, RC, I, I can hear you agreeing. I'd love to hear your thoughts. It felt a little bit like the beginning of something yesterday. Did it also feel maybe like the end of something? You know what? You don't necessarily know if it felt like the end of something, but it started to move that ball toward that way. Because think about it. Before this game, what we thought was Doug Peterson said, I made this decision for a week. It felt to me like the Philadelphia Eagles knew they were going back to Carson Wentz at some point very soon. That Carson Wentz was the future of this team. But when you watch your team play inspired football, when the offense runs more smoothly, when the quarterback that you insert is smarter than your starting quarterbacks, makes better decisions then you're starting quarterback, you start to wonder. And so now as the weeks stack and you get farther away from watching Carson Wentz bring this team to a point to where they had no chance to make the playoff, you start to think, okay, we have to move away from him. We got a guy. We have a dude who can take the, take, take the throne and be a better player for this team. And so now as Carson Wentz sits on that bench and as you see him mope and as you wonder, can he be a good teammate, Dan is absolutely right. Can we have these two dudes in the same quarterback room? All right, so I, I want to talk much more about this as we go. But, but oh, by the way, the Saints, who a week ago we were all saying, oh, they're the best team in the world, all of a sudden they lose a game that I, I think they won't feel really good about. What was your number one question coming out of that, Rex Ryan? Where was the quarterback designed runs? You know, I wouldn't have been surprised that a quarterback ran for 115 yards in a game. I just thought it was going to be Taysom Hill. I never hmm. saw it. We, we all know we saw Daniel Jones have two, you know, great quarterback runs against this team. My big question going in here is Philadelphia can't stop the, the design runs. Mm -hmm. And I just was shocked that we never saw them. Yeah. I mean, look at that stat from Hembo up there really quick, RC, because I know you had a thought on this as well. Yeah, like, so it's not about getting Drew Brees back. It's about Sean Payton getting out of his ego, about Sean Payton to stop stop trying to prove to us that Taysom Hill is a, is a regular quarterback, is a traditional quarterback. Let him run. Let him use his legs. The dude is built like the best tight end in football. He looks like George Kittle, and you are trying to make him Joe Montana. Allow Taysom Hill to use his athleticism. The, yeah. the, the blueprint is there. You saw the blueprint against you. What Jalen Hurts did is what Taysom Hill should do week in and week out. And as long as they don't try to do that, they are hurting this team. And Taysom Hill isn't a guy that can win you big-time football games. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.